everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of The Duelist. So, after the Royals battle last episode, I was planning on letting it run a couple of financial reports to at least get all the mechs back. Now, we're pretty close to getting all of our normal mechs back. The wiper is going to be a little bit of time, unfortunately. But I did make some changes. Um, let's go to the mech, babe. I did pick up another um, Duelist mission I want to take. It's a two-skull mission. I think it's going to be a good fight. Uh, Sentinel actually needs to be repaired even more. What do we lose here? I haven't looked at this since I've advanced the timeline, so interested to see. Oh, just some components here. It doesn't take any time. Beautiful. We are able to sacrifice that arm without any major cost. It's oh, awesome. Okay, so you know the um, Battle Cobra is back. If we have a look at this thing, I wanted to put it together, but we don't have a double heatsink kit to make this thing work. What I want to do is I want to add... Um, a ton of flamers to this thing and use it as an overheating mech uh, for our duels but I can't do that right now because I mean it just looks like if you look at the arms in this thing it just looks like it's like big massive flamethrowers on each arm so that's what I want to do just turn this into a flamethrowing mech but what I did do is I had I did refit the Spectre just ever so slightly I pulled off that LBX PPC I mean it was okay but not that great but we did pick up a plasma cannon I'm thinking if we're going to run this as a support mech for the duelist, I'm thinking of that extra uh, plasma cannon heat and residue and stuff is going to be worth more than um, the LBX on this thing. So I did add the plasma cannon. Uh, unfortunately, we only have a double load of plasma ammo, so I was only able to, to um, put that in. Once we get a single load, I'll swap it out. But, I mean, we got more than enough shots for the entire battle. 25 shots is tons, right? Move the machine gun over to this torso because I was able to also drop in an AMS uh, because we saved a bit of weight when we dropped the LBX with 7 tons. This is only 3 plus 2 tons of ammo. AMS and some ammo and some case. So, yeah, we should be good. Now we got this torso cased up, which is nice. Uh, move the machine gun over here because if this torso does get destroyed for whatever reason, at least we saved the machine gun. That's all the only reason why I did that. Um, but yeah, there's not much we can really do with this thing with only three energy hard points. That's what I'm saying. I think if we drop the Spectre out, use our, our additional Chameleon LPS system that we have, drop that into the, um, the, what's it called? The, oh my god, I was just looking at it. Uh, the Battle Cobra. I was going to call it Battle Knight, and I'm like, that's not it. Anyway, uh, if we drop that into the Battle Cobra, we'll have the same stealth as the Spectre. Uh, Spectre's movement is a lot higher um, than the Battle Cobra, um, but the bonus of the Battle Cobra, like I said, will be that fact that it can just like overheat stuff really fast. We should be able to put the plasma cannon in here, uh, plus like five, I think, five flamers. As long as we have a double heat sink kit, we should be able to sink the heat just fine. So yeah, that'll be a definite definite bonus, I think, and a step up from here. Plus we have a little bit more armor. So, but anyway, that all being said, let's have a quick look at the barracks. We do have some points to spend today. So we're just gonna look at uh, China Doll and um, and Vengeance. So we're gonna go tactics on China Doll. Get the bonus initiative. Mech it's always helpful. Plus being able to see the enemies a little better is always helpful. And then Vengeance, we have hey, some points going straight into piloting. Um, for the additional melee chance to hit. So, and then minus three, uh, confirmed, Commander. minus three to initiative variable, which is good. Okay, so let's go and take that mission now. Now, in the uh, the store hey, kicked Commander. over at the at Full the beginning of, of the month. I was able to pick up a double load of Ultra 20 ammo, which is nice because now we got a couple double loads of Ultra 20 ammo, which is, means in the future when we have the ability to field an Ultra 20, we got the ammo for it. So that was a bonus. But this is the one I want to take here. Um, duo duel against Clan Diamond Shark. I have no idea what to expect out of this. I'm really hoping this goes well, but we're going to go full salvage on it. We do need to get a double heat sink kit. Hopefully, I can pick that up out of here because we have none left. Um, should be able to just go to here. Nope. Uh, load dirt. Apply the clear. And then let's bring you down. And where are you here? And you down. So I've been uh, ranking up um, Derby's skills because he's going to replace um, our, the last pilot that died, in, uh, Ren. 
in the last battle, so that's what's going to happen there. But we're not talking about that today, because today we're doing the duel. So let's go ahead and <laughs> roll this and see how well we do. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. We know what to do. This right. planet again. Keep your eyes open and watch your senses. The amount of the amount of mechs that are like lying strewn about this battlefield must be ridiculous at this point. Uh, let's get up here. Actually, let's get into the trees just in case. I don't know what we're facing just you. yet. And let's get you up. Who? Let's not stick together. Let's move you over here. Rolling. All right. They're probably moving because they probably sense uh, the hatchetman already. Uh, let's get into here. Roger, Skipper. Oh. Elementals? And a shadow cat. All right. Okay, they don't detect me yet. I'm your spaniel. Which is unusual. Uh, that's kind of sucky that it's elementals though, because I technically can't, I can't, I technically shouldn't close with them for melee. Because they'll probably end up doing more to me than I would to them. Here they come. So this is going to end up as a, like, taking a shot from long range at battle, which is, like, ridiculous. So, so then it, I think they detect me now, so we're going to just move up and, uh... Take a pot shot at this guy. We got the ammo, we might as well. It's a lot of energy weapons. Attack failed. It did. Well, that's interesting. Ready for orders. Can't really see the terrain here, so let's just zoom in. Now we have the large heavy laser on here now. So let's get in on, on this guy. Get in the trees. And um, we got the TSM too. I can turn this on next turn. I gotta figure out, because people were telling me the TSM should help me out so being overheat, like hot would be good. But it's, um, can't really tell from here though. Alright, well let's just take a shot at this guy. We'll fire everything. Ooh, let's... Lee, ah man, I want to be able to get into Amelium next turn. I don't know where he's going to go. So let's just go this route. Add a little bit of heat. Alright, their elementals will probably move first. Nope, Shadow Cat. Here comes the damage. All right, not too bad. Standing by. Get the elementals. You know your job. We're not anywhere close enough to do anything to us yet, so we're just gonna walk in here. I'm there. Once this guy gets heated up, he's not doing anything. It'll be over for him. So that's a pretty good chance to hit. Um. Yeah, let's go this route. Alright, two hits with the flamers. Standing at fire, beautiful. Toadie's doing nothing. Alright, now what we can do... Um, is... This... Right? What's our chance to hit 52? What's the chance to hit with a physical weapon? 55. It's such a marginal difference, but we gotta fire more weapons here. Let's go this way and maybe get a leg? I'm going. Maybe? Targeting for physical attack. Uh, of course. 
gonna need a calibration on my targeting system. At least that guy's standing in fire and he's overheating. And now we're standing in fire too. Great. Oh, he's faster than us. Okay. Alright, let's work on... Waiting for orders. The same side. Coordinates received. Acknowledged. Plasma cannon missed again, but the flamers are on. That's all I need. That's I all I need. Alright, so if we go this on. Go to here. Kick. Gotta leave that off. Right? Let's see on if we can way. get that leg. Ah, good damage. Here comes the missiles. There goes the leg. So this guy's done. Hey. Thanks for showing up today, buddy. He's frying my internals. That's all right. Generating a lot of heat, Commander. You're not, but that's all right. Critical hit. A bad one, I think. Yeah. Reason why we don't want to get close Commander? to those elementals. All right, let's just move over here. Uh, let's move here. Get it within close range. I'm there. Bar B. Actually, you know what? Let's just go for headshots. Just because we can. Target locked. He's not doing anything anytime Wait, soon. All right. Um. Should be able to just hmm. that. I don't really need to finish that guy off. I mean, we could. Let's just go for the shots to him. Yeah, good luck with that. He'll probably shut down. We'll see, though. Yep. Oh, shoot. I gotta turn off my hot seat. Oh, my AMS is out of ammo already. Damage critical. I guess I only had half a ton. I'm receiving you. You can see what I mean about, like, engaging these friggin' elementals at close range. It's just an issue. Just fire it. Well. Sure. Locked and loaded. Here it comes. Oh, he's not going to repair it anyway. Standing by. Back up. Stay, <laughs> leave this guy between me and the uh, thing. Actually, let's not go for head. Let's go for leg. Because if we can keep head components, that'd be nice. So shoot for the leg. He's going to bail out, though. There's not much you can really do at this point. Yeah, he didn't even restart. Didn't even restart. Friggin' ankle biters. We're gonna have to close at some point, I guess. Ready for orders. Oh, yeah. Let's get that off. Now, what leg? We claimed that leg, so we need to get around to the front if we can. If we're gonna shoot this guy. Understood. Moving fast. We're gonna drop our heat this turn. Actually, what I'll do is I'll drop 
the last two infernal rounds on this guy. He shut down. Let's try for a headshot. Nothing. I'm out of short range missiles. Battle mech power up detected. Yeah, well. We knew he was going to bail out. Commander? Coordinates received. Yep. Fuck you. Orders. Nice solid right line there. right there. We can get that large improve to hit. It'll make all the difference. The EMP is not going to make a difference to this guy. Well, it does do four damage. Why are we still way over heat here? Let's just drop that heat there. We'll fire these. At least we're doing something. How's he got critical panic level? God damn it. System folding. Um yeah. Rolling. That's actually a pretty good chance to hit. I'm using it. Commander. Alright, let's just fire the large improved. Wow, really? Acknowledged. We'll get lucky at some point. This is the reason why I hate. And of course, they got the cheat armor. They got the cheat armor. I'm there. They're like pounding us with these friggin' machine guns. Hopefully, at some point, they run out of ammo. The hard gel keeps repairing them. Holding firm. I'm ready. I mean, I do have melee resist on this guy. Twenty-eight, twenty-nine percent. Twenty-seven. Twenty-nine with a charge. I mean, it's not doing much, but, uh... Let's just see. Targeting. I'm visualizing so we can get the hell out of there next turn. I mean, we're not doing damage any other way. No joy. I understand with... How did they still go before me? I took a critical hit. Yeah, they're on me now, too. Uh, where is... Not your turn Commander? anyway. Let's reserve you. Yes, Commander. And now we should be able to... Radic Maneuvering. And we'll move to... Here. Move order received. Yeah, we dropped them. Nice. Wow, the heat is just really building up on me here. Let's just go this route. Can't even land that. Oh, I should turn the... Uh, I keep forgetting... See, that's the reason why I don't want to use things like hot seat cockpits and stuff, because I always forget to turn them off. Like, always. It's gonna, it's gonna, like, just be nasty one of these times. Alright, good damage. 
At least somebody's doing damage. Commander, I'm wounded. Are you standing by? I mentioned how much I hate battle armor. Firing. We're getting there, though. I mean, we we've, we've taken two what? Two head hits already. Standing by. Can't. See if we can get them. On the way. Hopefully we go before them next time we can get out of there, but... Okay, nice. Finally a hit. That's okay. They're going to just repair the armor anyway. Yes, Commander. Okay, it's back up to here. They'll just repair it. Why bother doing damage if they're just going to repair it? Um... Fire these. Got it, Commander. Waiting for orders. I wonder if you're out of ammo. It's not too bad. I'm there. Not too bad. Divide their shots here. They're slowly getting, getting whittled down anyway. Changing targets. All right. Standing by. I guess they realize that she's the threat now. Let's move over here. Shot at these guys. Gotcha. At least we got lots of ammo. That's a miss. I'm receiving you. Uh, well, I can't close. That puts me in range of them. I think that's fine. Ah, uh, yeah, I think we took an engine crit. That's why we're so bad off here. Let's just fire these. Firing at enemy six. I'm out of SRMs. Another engine crit. My mech is coming apart around me. Commander? Wow. We lost one of ours. Are you fucking kidding me? Yes, Commander. I, I I don't even okay. I definitely missed something. I don't know what it was, but I definitely missed something. It said sprinting with damage, so I'm I don't know. Did I, did I have, I don't, didn't say I had a wound, did it? I may have had a wound. Although it said pilot consciousness two of three and I'm like, okay, I'm still conscious. My mech is coming apart around me. I wonder if I was, I'm here. 
I may have been bleeding and I didn't realize it. Which, you know, knowing me is really high possibility. At least the mech's okay. I mean, I hope it's okay. Firing. And once again, I am going to apologize for uh, the next two hours of me attempting to kill battle armor with cheat armor. How much hard gel do they have? Reading you. But they got like what, three tons of armor on them at the most? And that means that they're carrying three tons of hard gel to replace it? Is that what they're doing? They know how they're carrying weapons? I don't understand. Target locked. I don't understand. They have more hit points now than like Go away. Just go yes, away. Commander. Order acknowledged. Well, at least we have weapons to defeat battle armor with this guy. Ten four. The flamers are doing okay. I gotta move away from these uh, the mineral fields. Or it's gonna start using the mineral fields to its advantage. I'm here. It's shocking it's shocking how easily that hatcherman gets hit in the head. Like they fired just about as the same amount of machine gun rounds at this guy as they have at the uh the hatcherman. Like are we even gonna do I bet you I burned through all of my plasma rounds. Reading you. I mean, at some point they have to run out of hard gel, right? Location confirmed. I'm assuming. Or is it just continuous? Engaging target. They somehow pick up the hard gel from the environment or something. Like, look at it. It's just continuous. And I bet you if I stayed away from them, they get all of their armor back. Which to me is like... Think about it. Just pause and think about the ramifications of that rule for a second. And what it is in reality. That's like a tank carrying like an equal amount of armor inside it in some kind of gel form that just replaces all of the armor as it's fighting. Like how? 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 Like you could argue it would fill holes like, here's the thing is I get the fact that it's a gel. Okay, cool. It's a gel. But it doesn't defy the laws of physics in any way. So in order to replace a certain amount, right, you'd have to have a certain amount on you. And it's got to weigh roughly the same amount. So I, I get the fact that it would fill holes. Totally get that. But it should work in a completely different way. Because it doesn't, like, I don't, I don't understand how it replaces the armor. Because essentially, that's what it's doing. It's replacing the armor, right? Move order received. So does it what ooze out over top of the surface of where the armor is? Taking the shot. Because it's obviously not going on the outside. Because then you'd have to have some kind of access from inside to go the outside to cover the armor that gets destroyed, right? So where is it filling? What hole is it filling? Maybe it's just my friggin' I'm here. ASD brain that's thinking that. It's like, I don't, it doesn't make confirmed. any sense to me at all. The mechanic is interesting. And if it was like, here's the thing, it, it would be cool if they did it, used it as a different way. It's like, okay, if for whatever reason the armor gets completely taken off an area, it immediately gets repaired to five points once or something like that. So it's like the armor has been breached on that on that location, right? And the hard gel basically just fills that fills that gap, the entire gap with with hard gel. Like a liquid coating goes out across the entire section of that area, right? Replaces it. I get that. Cool. That's fine. Or if you're fighting in a lunar environment and your armor gets breached, right? Then there's no chance of environmental criticals, right? 
that would work for me too. But just the con continuous regeneration of armor, it doesn't make any sense at all. Location confirmed. It just makes for a battle that ends up like this, right? Realistically, it's a battle that ends up like this that's technically a stalemate. They can't kill me, I can't kill them. Oh, sorry, I take it back. Because if I walk away, these guys will... Like, I haven't killed one of them yet. Even with the amount of damage I've done, not one of these guys has died. Reading you. Move order retreat. And I'm probably going to have to retreat. Engaging target. They have more armor now than they did several turns ago. They're basically cloning themselves. I'm here. Order acknowledged. They're basically cloning themselves. Copy that. And here's my chance to hit drops. Yeah, they're cloning themselves. Or at least I know. They, at least I know they take damage from going through fire, unless that was what they regenerated. Yes, Commander. Move order received. If they're regenerating four points per per spot, like. Affirmative. Yeah, plasma ammo's gone. I bet you they have infinite machine gun ammo too. Reading you. <sighs> Location confirmed. Well, I'm going to go to my machine gun ammo's done, and then I'm, I'm going to have to retreat because I can't kill these guys because they can't stop repairing their armor. That has to be broken. Actually, wait. You know what I'm going to do? I'll go to my machine gun ammo's gone. Yes, Commander. And then I'm going to wander away, and I want to come back and see if they've regenerated every, every bit of armor. I'm just interested to see. Yeah, it's just still going. Actually, I'm not even going to give them the satisfaction of damaging me anymore. Critical hit! Critical hit! Affirmative. Come on, people. Let's make it happen. I'm here. Yeah, they can't see me now. So I'll just wait here for a turn or two. Reading you. Send four. I'm here. Roger. Venting heat. Yes, Commander. Let's go see. And then I'm done. I can't do this anymore. Yeah, they've got half their hit points back now. Taking the shot. I'm here. So if they're repairing four points per, I mean, I could, here's here's technically what you could try and do. You can run back like this using the stealth mech, right? So that they can't see you. You brace here for a turn. They don't do anything. The next turn you run in, hit them with flamers. At that point, they've regenerated eight hit points each. Your flamers, if they both hit, will do like, what, 16, 17? That's what my flamers are doing. So I'd be doing eight damage every two turns. 
well, 16 damage in total every two turns randomly to different different elementals. I mean, I, I don't even... I don't even know what to say. Yes, Commander. I don't know. I don't even know what to say. Reading Four rounds. Three rounds. Yes, Commander. Two rounds. I'm here. Confirmed. Holding and cooling. Reading you. Just because I'm interested. Well, looks like this guy may have run out of hard gel. These guys certainly haven't. Firing. Yes, Commander. I don't feel like spending two hours doing this. Retreat. Let's get Well, I mean it could have been totally worse. We didn't get anything for that. It's fine. Yeah, my pilot would have been killed. Wait, what? We somehow get two shadow cat parts. I guess I don't know. Whatever. So it said sprinting while injured. I guess it caused an injury because I was sprinting, and that's when I passed out. I guess, but a, a couple turns before it said my threshold was two of three. So maybe the in the two turns that I, I wasn't really looking. So maybe in the two turns that I was sprinting, I took a couple of more wounds. Hey everybody, so I brought the video into post-production just to see, I mean, we got to edit it anyway, but I wanted to see what had happened. So here is where I fall. It says sprinted with damage. Okay, running and fall, 28.9%, which is less than 30%. So I sprinted with damage, right? I fall, get knocked down. And at that point, I become unconscious, which is, now that I've gone wow. through the footage, makes sense. I don't know about the sprinted with damage because at nowhere was I seeing any calculations before this, but so this is the part where I get knocked out. So the consciousness level is three of three. Now my, I was mistakenly thinking two of three meant that I've got two more states of consciousness left, but it's not, it's incremental rather than decreasing. So current's consciousness is three of three. And then it says, does it say it? right here so knocked down pilot incapacitated health one of three which is why i was confused but it's the consciousness state that was the issue when i got shot in the head over here a little more like a few turns back i got shot in the head it was a level two burn wound for some reason i don't know why would a heavy machine gun cause the burn but whatever i took a burn wound which put my threshold at two of three that's why the knockdown incapacity like I took a, a simple fracture which was a wound level or I guess a consciousness level whatever so now it's three or three unconscious but I still have health left however at the end of the battle I have three I have three wounds so I don't know what the heck happened I do but I don't you know what I mean so I guess if you're wounded, I guess depending on the level of your wound, um, you'll you'll take sprint damage. It's like right in, it was right after we, we shake off the elementals, right? So right after that, we shake them off, we move, we take a shot at them, right? Um, and then it's right before that. Yeah, so they move. Here's where they take a shot at me. Commander. So life life support B destroyed, but I take consciousness le le threshold 2 of 3, health 2 of 3. So in my mind, I was thinking that it like they, they coincide, because it would make sense, right, to me. 
But the problem is, is health goes down and consciousness threshold goes up. So I got confused. That's why I was wondering what, what the heck happened. So I got severe burns on my torso, severity two injury. And that's what happened. So when I fell over, I took the extra wound and that was it. So that kind of makes sense. It kind of, it kind of does and it kind of doesn't. I guess I was just reading the numbers wrong, which is why I was confused. Fair enough. You know. Yeah, it is what it is. Anyway, on to the end. Ah, uh, well, can't have great missions every time. How many? I'm out for two months. Well, okay. I guess it's going to be the Royals for the next little bit then. We got to generate some sea bills too. Because we got a long time before. Uh, actually, you know, let's manage our tasks a bit better here. Bring the waiver into the top. Actually, we can shift click that to the top and shift click the Viper to the top because I don't have to worry about. Um, actually, let's move you up one so that when this finishes, you start. That means 24 days will go by and 27 days will go by. So 27 to have every day, everything back. But I'm moving you up these guys first because we'll be fighting with these guys next. So these guys, are, I, they'll be up for quite a while, unfortunately. But I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. I'm sorry it wasn't more exciting. It was just very strange. Okay. Elementals. Now I know. Like, I guess I should be somehow meant mounting a bunch of machine guns or something there's just something that just seems broken about that like the ele elemental regeneration like that I mean I guess it wasn't really designed to be a that effective unless you were facing one on one with like a light mech that didn't have a lot of weapons and I understand the elementals being dangerous in that regard but I still I think would change how it's done like, rather than putting hard gel inside them that just gives them continuous regeneration to a certain point, make it the armor is resistant more to damage or something, like redu automatically reducing 10% incoming damage or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm just talking out my ass. Just drop your comments in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think. I don't know. It just... It seems off to me. Like, the, the amount of hard gel that those elementals would have to be carrying to replace that much armor would be just astounding and I guess you could you could say oh then it's just it's just two materials like you know um, epoxy or something where you mix the two together and it becomes super hard so that doesn't have to weigh a lot and then my argument would be cool then why isn't every single mech sporting that underneath the top layer of their armor wouldn't that just make more sense to have that continue like over everything wouldn't it I mean honestly I mean yeah okay, it's, maybe it's a secret formula but once the formula is out like I know it's in elementals but you would put it in every single mech you have wouldn't you don't you think that would make the most sense why would you just limit it to ground pounders like that the hard gel wouldn't if, I, if it was my military I wouldn't even put it in those things I'd be putting it on all my mechs like everything would have it but that's just me. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. Please feel free to drop a like. If, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And please drop your comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.